I think they've been illuminating. Mark has done a good job of answering the questions that are being asked and helping to create a pathway on a plan for moving ahead beyond the hearing. You say that he's done well. I mean, do you think in any way he was helped in yesterday's session? It was five hours, but each senator only had five minutes, and there was a real difficulty. You had pointed questions, but often very little time for any sort of follow-up to actually get to the kernel of what was being really sought. Yeah, I think that's fair. The, the hearing is really a part of the process and more of a beginning of a conversation that we extend, expect to extend well beyond the hearing. And, and Mark raised the point yesterday, the fundamental question is how do we ensure that we advance innovation while also protecting consumer privacy and in advancing data security? This is a part of that process, but it's not the end of the process. Dean, stay there, but uh, I'm going to bring in another of our guests here in the studio, Renata Sampson. She's a digital rights and data protection consultant. Uh, welcome here to the program. I started by asking Dean both yesterday's session, today's session. How did you think Zuckerberg did? I thought yesterday was really interesting, and today clearly he's getting a bit more of a grilling. I, think he, I do think he did well, but he gave a very polished performance. All that training that he's had over the last few days has been, has been excellent and it's paid off for him, but really it's now about scraping in and seeing in everything a bit more detail and really getting to the bottom of what's what. Before these two sessions, what, what were the key answers that you were waiting to hear and did you hear any of them? Well, he did pass it back to, we'll come back to you, but that's kind of standard for giving evidence in front of a committee. You hear that a lot in the UK as well. But I think what was interesting was he, he seemed very committed to the idea that users have control over their data. And arguably, users would say, well, OK, you're telling me that, but I don't really know how to control my data. So that's a really key point for, for all of us as Facebook users, uh, uh, which is slightly separate to, the, to a much bigger issue that's being debated out there. Dean, uh, just picking up on that point, uh, John Kennedy yesterday said to Zuckerberg, your user agreement sucks. I, I mean, <laughs> do you think it needs to be simplified, understandable for all those millions of people that somewhere in the small print there is some box to tick? Yes, I think, I think it is key as innovators that you're leading, but you're not too far, far out in front of society. And I think one of the things that's become clear is there needs to be a deeper understanding of the choices that you're making and greater control. A part of the question is how you achieve that, and that's the dialogue that we expect to have uh, going forward. Uh, Renata, was uh, he allowed in, in one way to, to get off the hook yesterday when the questions were asked about regulation? I mean, he did say he was open to the right regulation, but uh, the very fact that lawmakers are asking him would he go along with uh, changes to the law and regulation, isn't that the wrong way round? Absolutely. I, I felt it was slightly disturbing or actually profoundly disturbing the idea of Mr Zuckerberg, could you present us with what regulations you'd like to see and we'll look over them and he was like yes absolutely. It's very interesting what, what Dean has just said about you know how, what sort of regulation would it look like? Well arguably it would look like the general data protection regulation, the GDPR that's coming on the 25th of May in Europe. And that provides a number of, of, of controls uh, that, that give the individual much more uh, um, ability to control, but also to understand how their data is being used. And really, social media, not just Facebook, social media and our engagement with the internet really needs to start to get much more of a grasp on this. It, it's too important. We are our data. Our data is like our flesh and blood. We need to know how, how it's being used, why it's being used, and how we can restrict it being used. Even though senators, some of them, needed to understand that when you listen to some of the questions because they were uh, flabbergasting some of the the, the, the sort of yes. lack of knowledge uh, yesterday in some of the questioning but Dean uh, let me ask you about that uh, regulation point I, I mean self-regulation has failed has it not I wouldn't say that it's failed and it's not just self-regulation in the United States we do have a sectoral approach I agree that GDPR is a foundation or a pillar for the conversation that we need to have globally around protecting consumer privacy. But do keep in mind, GDPR is still a theory. It hasn't been implemented. It goes into force in May. Mm -hmm. And I suspect that there will be parts of it that will work exceptionally well and other parts that won't. And so though GDPR is being implemented, there is still a conversation to be had on how to do this effectively. Uh, and that's where we are. Uh, Renata, just uh, picking up on that point, you know, uh, Dean talks about a conversation. It was interesting yesterday when uh, he was being pressed about the discriminatory ads that uh, appear mm. on Facebook and getting rid of them. And he said, look, we need to have uh, a discussion with the community. They need to flag them up. I mean, it does beg the question, 
They are making billions of dollars. Why don't they just hire more human beings to get on with doing some of this basic work? Well, so, he said that that's what they're doing. And that's a really, really interesting point because a large part of the conversation yesterday focused on AI, artificial intelligence. We'll embed AI into our systems and that will do the hard work so that people aren't re responsible for it. That honestly opens up an entire can of worms. You can imagine, 10 years time, Mark Zuckerberg sat there once again having to explain AI, how AI kind of did it wrong for all of us and put us in an even more uh, uh, vulnerable position.